Okay guys, so you've decided, hey, I wanna go start my own construction business. Maybe you've been uh, in the trades for a minute and you decided I wanna go do my own thing. Um, what are the first steps? So step number one, experience and licensing. Um, depending on what you go into, what field you go into, um, and also where you live, you may be required to have a contractor's license. Uh, in California, it's almost guaranteed for whatever you wanna do, you're gonna need a license. Uh, we're a swimming pool contractor, so in California, we need to have our C53 state contracting license. Um, in other states, I know some of them don't require that. Um, they might have uh, regulations on like the, the cost of the job, different stuff like that. I mean, California, the, the minimum, or excuse me, the maximum uh, price point for a job you could take without a contractor's license is 500 bucks. And then of course it goes without saying, you wanna have experience uh, in the field that you're going into. You know, preferably, I mean, if you wanna become a, a concrete guy and you wanna start your own concrete company, I highly recommend you go help a concrete company for a season, for a year, get some experience. If you don't go that route and you wanna just get experienced people and you want to kind of run the business side of things that's a whole other story and you can do it um, it's always ideal though to have experience in the field that you're going into obviously I think that's that kind of goes without saying the next thing which is kind of fun and exciting to do is your name and branding uh, you want to establish that uh, that's gonna be your identity um, out to the city that you're in that's how people are gonna recognize you um, so it could be as simple as your last name and whatever you do, you know, like Rhodes Electric. We're, my company is Sierra Build Co. Uh, I grew up near the Sierra Mountains, so Sierra Build Company. So, you know, don't overthink the name. Um, whatever resonates with you and you have a personal connection with, roll with that. Um, with that, you want to go ahead and get a nice logo made up. So if you don't know how to make your own logo, there's a lot of websites out there that you could just kind of tell them, hey, I'm looking for this, and they'll make you a nice looking logo, nice professional um, looking logo. Will go a long way. It'll set you apart, make you look professional, um, and people will have more confidence in hiring you, seeing that you have that put together. The next thing is marketing. This kind of rolls into the same topic. Um, once you have that logo ready, your, your uh, company name, you want to hit marketing points and my two main marketing sources are Yelp and Instagram. Um, Yelp, anytime you do a job, you want to hit up the customer. Hey, we'd love some feedback on Yelp. You could advertise on Yelp to get jobs, obviously, which is huge. Um, and just starting out, you know, they're not going to be the best jobs, but they're going to get you experience. They're going to get you reviews. That's a good way to go about it. The other thing is Instagram. We do a lot of advertising on Instagram. Um, that's a whole other topic for another video because you could actually get into it uh, in quite a bit of detail. You could pick like where you advertise, the cities, the zip codes, uh, the demographics. If somebody's interested in a certain topic, you could target those people. So marketing is gonna be pretty critical, especially when you're just starting out. So if you have a little savings of a couple thousand bucks maybe, um, you want to put that towards marketing. If you don't have that, there's other ways to do it. Don't be discouraged. There are other ways to, to find work. You could do flyers. There's a lot of other things to do. And then uh, the other big one is uh, employees. Now this kind of is probably an earlier step. You want to get this figured out uh, earlier in the process. But you need to determine, hey, am I gonna have employees, in-house guys working um, on our jobs? Am I gonna be doing the work solo, maybe just at the beginning? Or am I gonna be using subcontractors? These are all things you need to figure out um, so you can get, get your job done. Um, in my case, I'm all subcontracted out. So all my phases, I use subs. Um, we're at a point right now to where I'm, I want to have a little more control and quality in some of the phases of, of, of our build process. So I am thinking about bringing in a, an in-house person here soon. Um, whenever you bring in an in-house employee, there's a lot more responsibility with workers' compensation, insurances, and, and all that good stuff. So I don't recommend doing that right off the bat. 
either if you're doing the work that's great maybe you have a buddy um, maybe you have some friends or family that could help you out to help you get by for a little bit and then uh, using subcontractors is always nice because they they have their own liability and uh, you might be paying a little bit more may maybe making a little bit less profit but you're gonna be doing things the right way and um, creating uh, stable growth for the future and uh, the next thing honestly is just to have thick skin uh, you can't get too sensitive because you're gonna run into a lot of stuff out there especially just starting out people can I think sense that you're just starting out um, in my case I started a pool cleaning and uh, repair company and I wasn't I didn't have a contractor's license at first for that because you don't need it but um my confidence level I'm assuming is what may have done this but my confidence level wasn't there because I was still learning as I, as I was going and I mean I had a couple customers fire me um, just be kind of cruel and mean and that went away after I got some confidence um, building once we started building pools um, I didn't have that exactly happen to me but I did have people um, question me because I think I look quite young and that's what they would say hey how long have you been doing this you look really young um, and I think that would kind of turn them off a little bit and I never get that statement anymore and I think it's because of just a confidence level you get to the house you get to the yard um, you know your trade in and out you're asking them questions of what they're wanting they're not just having to ask you all these questions you're actually asking them questions uh, you kind of take control of the meeting so have thick skin at first don't get discouraged because we all face uh, stuff at the beginning that's tough sometimes it makes you want to quit um, I've had that happen a couple times so don't quit be just dis don't be discouraged uh, be confident just have thick skin if you have a bad encounter with somebody just brush it off and keep going um, because starting a business is not easy it's tough so make sure you have a good support system um, hopefully your your wife or girlfriend is really supportive and um, you have some buddies you can lean on and just keep going at it make friends with other people in your industry don't treat them as like the competition and standoffish I can't tell you how many times fellow pool builders and I've connected and worked together in one way or another um, so don't view fellow people in your field as like this evil competition reach out to them become buddies people love to help other people in general people like to be helpful so reach out to a more experienced electrical contractor if that's what you're going into and ask them questions people love to share knowledge they like to feel valuable and so by you reaching out to them it makes them feel valuable it's kind of a compliment to them and uh, make friends as you go I, earlier I said it's hard and to have good people to lean on but at the same time it is very rewarding and it's a lot of fun also especially if you're doing something you enjoy it's kind of like a game at the end of the day you know when you clock in at a job nine to five it's very black and white you go in do your work and you're done when you're running a business it's kind of like a strategy game um, I used to play this game called Rome Total War and you'd become like a you'd play this little area of the Roman Empire and you'd, you'd battle so you'd go fight other countries and stuff and honestly running a company is kind of like that you have the same same strategy you do have your competition and of course at the end of the day you want to beat them uh, but have a friendly competition with with uh, your competitors make friendships and um, good luck to you guys if you have any other questions on how to start a construction business I just kind of hit the main points that I, I thought of off the top of my head I probably missed a lot uh, leave some comments down below I, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments I'll also be happy to do a repost or another video answering some more questions you guys might have so uh, again best of luck to you guys and hang in there and just really quick guys um, please like the video and subscribe I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel it's been a lot of fun and uh, I want to grow my subscriber base just kind of like we have on Instagram I want to keep this stuff going so uh, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you.